<laughs> boom, boom, boom. You did the, the torque. I'm in my blue heaven on my MT-07, baby. Woo! And I recently purchased this brand new 2022 Yamaha MT-07. And a lot of you guys are asking me, how much did I pay for it? I'm going to tell you what I paid for it in this video. I'm going to tell you how I feel about paying it that much. And if I felt I got ripped off, because I'm going to tell you this right now, guys, is that dealers are actually charging exorbitant dealer fees on top of the MSRP because this bike is so hot. This is one of the, if not the hottest selling motorcycle on the market right now. I guarantee you call any dealership across the country here in the United States and they will not have this bike on the floor. They are sold. It's, it was even hard for me to even place an order for this bike, guys. I had to go all the way to Mansfield and I had to wait over a month to get this bike. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you what I paid and how I feel about paying what I paid for it and how I really feel about this bike. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. Look at this bike. I think this is one of the best looking bikes now i know beauty's in the eye of the beholder some of you guys are gonna think it's ugly some of you guys think it's awesome and that's okay every bike i've owned some people said it was ugly and some people thought it was awesome but i tell you look got rid of that ugly oem fender it looks so much better look at the lines the lines of the the new mtl7 is just awesome i mean it's pretty similar to the previous uh mtl7 but even better it looks better the headlight looks better it's just it's a really good looking bike and this is honestly I'll be honest with you guys, this is one of the most exciting motorcycles, even though it's one of the cheapest motorcycles out of the 12 motorcycles that I've purchased over the 10 years on YouTube. And I'm, I'm going to tell you what I paid and I'm going to get on the bike and we'll talk about that in a moment. But I just wanted to show you how beautiful I think this bike is, man. But I'm going to tell you, regardless of the motorcycle you're riding, you got to wear the gear to stay safe out on the streets, guys. I have links to all of my awesome gear, like this airbag vest that I never leave home without. Helps keep me safe out on the streets. This is my favorite helmet, my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet. It comes with an automatic tent shield, my gauntlet gloves that are awesome, jacket, boots, pants, everything. All my gear, I include links in the description and comment section of this video. That I cannot wait to put a full exhaust on this bike, man. <laughs> Listen. It, si it, it sounds like a scooter, but when I get the aftermarket exhaust on this bike, this is one of the best sounding motorcycles on the market, guys. Seriously. It sounds like it sounds better than Harley Davidson, in my opinion. It's a it's, it's beautiful sounding bike. And to top it off that the bike has a ton of bottom end grunt it's it's just an amazing bike off the line for the city lightweight throw it around great turning radius for turns and it's just a very confidence inspiring fun hooligan bike you can cruise on this bike some people take it to the track um but overall guys i paid the price i paid for this bike was nine thousand three hundred and seventy three dollars that includes eight percent a tax tag and title out the door that's what i paid ninety three seventy three and i'll tell you even though that is about a hundred dollars less than paying full msrp with dealer fees everything i'll be honest with you i've walked out feeling like i got a bargain after riding this bike i love this bike guys absolutely love this bike and there's really honestly it doesn't what's great about it is it doesn't have a lot of the crap on it, it doesn't have the electronic rider aids on it. it it's got a cable throttle and cable cable clutch um you know it, it no frill straight up 100 percent motorcycle i love that man you rip that throttle on here boy Woo! <laughs> it's a wheeling machine i still got to get used to this bike before i start busting some wheelies on it man um but i honestly i i'm telling you like i said i'm out of my 12 motorcycles this is number two next to my my yz i know Whoa! <laughs> the pull on this bike man even stock without the exhaust and tune on it it's good right out of the box it's fun man like i said best bang for your buck man I, like i said i felt like a bargain it felt like a bargain and honestly, like Sid, the suspension is just fine over these horrible... The suspension soaks up the bumps. 
uh, on these crappy roads. Look at that. Boop, 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 boop. Look at all these. Look at, look at. Boop, 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 boop. Potholes, tar snakes, patched up roads. It soaks up the bumps. I'm up only a buck seventy though. I don't weigh a lot. Um, you know, with, with full gear, I'm probably a buck ninety. So if you weigh a lot more, I don't know. You try to bike out and see how it works for you. But I'm telling you. This is one of the best purchases I've ever made, man. I, I can't wait till I get an exhaust on this bike. Woo! I'm going to be in my blue heaven, guys. Seriously. I enjoy riding this bike more than I might that Ducati X Diablo uh, cruiser that I had, which had a similar riding position, but it was a whole lot heavier. That was a cool bike. I loved it. Don't get me wrong. But that bike's a $26,000 bike. This is a... You could get this... Sometimes you can get this less than 9,000 out the door, but right now, guys, this is the hottest selling bike. Like I said, you will not, I guarantee you, you're not gonna find this bike at any dealership near you. If you do, you're extremely lucky. And it will probably be gone the next day. Uh, it, like I said, it was hard ordering this bike and I did not fight with him. I did not negotiate with the guy. I took what he said that I had to pay and I said, I'll take it. I said, and I had, I didn't think I was ever going to get the bike, man. Um, I had to wait over a month to get this bike. But I'm glad I did. The worth, what, the, the weight was worth it. The price was worth it. Like I said, I, this is one of the best purchases. One of the best purchases, man, ever. It's awesome. Next to my YZ, of course. But this thing, you know, that one I had to build up, make it street legal and everything. This is right out of the jump. Stock form, this bike is awesome, man. This just is a really cool bike. And uh, yeah, man, so, but for those of you that wanna buy this bike, like I said, you're gonna probably have to order one and you may even have a hard time ordering one because there's probably gonna be some other orders. And they, and the dealers can only get a few bikes at a time. They're not, Yamaha and all the you know, motorcycle manufacturers are not shipping loads of bikes to dealers anymore. Them, right now, they're only, the dealers are lucky to what they can get you know they only get a few bikes here and there so and this like i said is the hottest i i bet it's the hottest selling motorcycle i guarantee you it probably is because this bike appeals to new riders even though i don't really think this is a beginner bike because it's you rip this throttle on this bike and you're not ready for it it could it could buck a new rider it can cause problems for a new rider man seriously um but a lot of people have started on this and did just fine so it appeals to everybody of all skill levels it is just an amazing bike and um like i said you know as far as looks i think it's a beautiful bike but if you don't you you throw a leg over it the looks don't matter no more you listen to that awesome soundtrack with the aftermarket exhaust and cru you could just cruise at the comfortable riding position this is like a cruiser riding position with mid pegs and it's beautiful man it's a small bike it's confidence inspiring it has a short seat height it's only 31.7 inches so shorties can ride this bike um i'd say people all the way up to maybe six foot four could probably uh ride this bike no problems man this is just a really amazing bike um, and this this like i said this bike appeals to everybody and uh i am so happy that i got this bike i the more i ride it the more I really love it. And when I get the exhaust, like I said, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, it's gonna be so amazing. Um, I love the turning radius on this bike. It's really easy to turn around and flick around. Just so awesome, man. It's easy to throw around. Just, it feels good. And, and you're comfortable. You're, so, you know, I'm telling you guys that are starting on them like, like, a, you know, R3 or, you, R6 or you know the sport super sports and super bikes or whatnot. I'm telling you them days are over with you don't need to be riding around hunched over in a race position out here on the streets anymore guys them days are over with we got these naked bikes make it comfortable but yet they got that bottom end torque you you rip on it and you'll never you won't miss any of those those fast liter bikes and everything and the insurance is a whole lot cheaper on these bikes too man <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The super sport, you pay it, especially if you live down in Florida or you live in a state where it's, ex I'm telling you, is that uh, insurance could be high as hell on those super sports and super bikes, man. I tell you, this thing just, oh man, I love riding this bike. Throw it around the twisties here. 
it's just beautiful <laughs> very confidence inspiring this is an amazing bike guys Yamaha I'm telling you man I, I tell you Yamaha is number one to me they make the coolest bikes I yes they can make stand to make some of their bikes a little prettier you know what I'm saying but you throw a leg over their bikes and they're awesome reliable um, I'm telling you in this bike you don't have to check the valves for 26,000 miles even though my YZ I've never checked the valve on I got over 100 hours on that bike and you're supposed to check it every 12 hours <laughs> and my bike my YZ runs better now than it did new um, of course a car would have to get in front of me man but I'm telling you guys the MT-07 is an amazing value even if you have to pay top dollar you know full msrp it is worth it guys i would have paid more than msrp for this bike if i had to seriously seriously i like the bike this i love the bike that much man it's just oh my gosh just so confidence inspired and fun amazing man <laughs> this is such a sick bike dude oh i love this bike man <laughs> I'm in my blue heaven on my MT-07, baby. Woo! But anyways, leave a comment below, guys. Tell me what you paid for your MT-07. I know the older ones, some of you guys paid like 6000 out the door. Back in the day, you could get them real cheap. But they're, everybody's caught on on how hot this bike is now, man. <laughs> and now, like I said, you'll be lucky to find one, guys. Uh, but leave a comment. Let's talk about it. What do you think of the MT-07? Do you like the looks? Do you think it's worth it? And let's talk about it, guys. Make sure to hit thumbs up. Really helps my channel when you do. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell symbol. To get, well, get you notified when my new videos are up. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Got a ton of videos coming on this, guys. Build videos. All kinds of videos. So subscribe stay tuned until next time catch you guys later check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel book out moto where i customize a van for my motorcycle so i can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere subscribe to my youtube channel book out moto